こんにちは、皆さん。はじめまして、マックスです。お願いします。ボンジョコムタリブチューマップレ。マックス、よろぶねのはせよ、マックスにみだ。Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another brand new live video. For the girls, for the children, and for the carry down this Chapman fantasy today. Woo! Serving the rose gold for the girls and for the children. You guys, we just finished our TikTok live, and then we were spilling a little tea, throwing a little shade, because、uh, we got started a little bit later today. Later than usual, but that's okay. Because the night is young, isn't it? Yes. At the Ritz Carlton in London. Well, let me fix my chair. Make sure I'm comfortable. So, we're gonna be using today the Sculpted Stiletto Medium 1, 2, 3 Gold Black Label Nails. Hi from Florida! We're gonna be using Ballerina Gel number. A really pretty, like, milky pink. I think it was number nine that I used. You are glowing. Am I? Thank you.、Mm -hmm. I did some、uh, micro needling last night with、uh, pigment in there. Yes, this one. And then we're going to use rose gold foil. And it looks so cool because it literally is giving us unicorn vibes. Because it catches a whole bunch of different colors. And she has a、uh, masquerade party coming up and she's going to be wearing black. So the black will contrast against the nails and just look really dope. And then because they're kind of like bluish and like very like hologram, huh?、Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll go good with any kind of accessory that she'll wear, whether it be gold or silver or just diamonds. What hair? Oh, you're gonna do blue, huh? Yeah,、probably. blue. I like the blue hair. I like the hair you had for your、um, diamonds and denim party. Oh, I don't remember. What did I have? It was long and. Oh, yeah. It wasn't braids, it was, it was a wig. Oh, it was a wig? Yeah. Oh, I thought she had done a、uh, sewing. No, did she? I think it was just a wig. Really? Yeah. She might have done a sewing. No, you're right. It was a sewing. That was what, two years ago? Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Wow. I know. That was two years ago, really? Yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't this last birthday. My last birthday was March. It wasn't that one. What、so、was that? What was the theme for March? Did I do anything? I don't think I did anything. My mom's already yelling、oh, at me. Oh, remember I was in Philly. I didn't do、oh, anything. Oh, that's right.、Yeah. What is your mom yelling at me? Because、about? next year is a big number for her because she's changing numbers.、Ooh. And she's like, I don't want to go to Disneyland. And I was like, Well, I go to Disneyland every year on my birthday, so you can do whatever you want on your birthday. But I'm going to Disneyland because it's my day. Yeah. And she's like, Well, I don't want to go. And our, day, our birthdays are one day apart.、Right. So it makes it a pain in the butt because I don't know what she wants to do. Yeah. And you have to do something for your mom. It's a big number. Yeah, we've rare, I think in my whole life, we've only had maybe two or three birthdays that we haven't spent it together. Really? One was that I went to the Premier Orlando show.、Mm -hmm. when, I was re when I won my first, first place,、mm -hmm. I think I flew back on her birthday. Really? So I didn't spend my birthday with her.、Mm -hmm. And there was another one I went to Korea and I had.、Um, An anti,、uh, anti aging treatment, and we didn't spend our birthday together.、Uh -huh. And I think that's Christmas. We've only spent one Christmas not together. Really? Yeah, I went to Japan for Christmas.、Mm. We were fighting. Because、mm. she got,、um, she got a, 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 a tummy tuck and a breast lift,、uh -huh. and she didn't tell me where she got the money from. Oh, really? <laughs> So, I felt like I had a right not to talk to her.、Oh, right.、Yeah. So, for me getting back at her, I was like, well, you know what? I'm leaving.、Oh, right. Yes, good times. Nice. So, enough of me rambling, guys. Let's turn this camera around and begin the snatching of the phalanges. And don't forget that we have our 35% off sale right now, which is promo code FALL35. Again, that promo code is FALL35, F A L L35, altogether one word. Enter it at checkout, and you, my lovely, will save 35% off your entire purchase. But I feel like that, that me being mad at that time is justified. Yeah. Because,、yeah. can you imagine if you took a whole bunch of money from Asia and you'd be like, oh, I'm、yeah. gonna go get my titties done in a tummy tuck? Yeah. It was horrible. Asia, I need, I need my titties done in a tummy tuck, Asia. And you pay for it. Yeah. But right now you're still paying for Asia's、yeah. uh, stuff. I'm wanting Asia to pay for it. Oh, thank you. So let's turn this camera around, you guys, and begin the snatching of the phalanges. She's going to Vegas tomorrow. She might be able to find her sugar daddy. Finally. Yeah. The long awaited. Yeah. You're glowing. So, this is the before, and let's show the girls the after. Look at that. Look how holographic that is. It almost looks like abalone, doesn't it? This is a rose gold foil. And look how clean our cuticle looks now, too. So, let's go from this to this in less than an hour. I'm gonna start by pushing back the cuticle. Everybody's saying how good you look and you're glowing. Really? Yes. 
Wow, so I guess that treatment really worked, huh? Yeah. So I do uh, microneedling now. I do it myself. So I've had it done t professionally twice. I've had it done once with Glow Aesthetics and then once with Starbright um, Skincare. And then I got a machine and I got um, some, actually I already had some serum. And then I just do it like once a, a week on myself. But it's a very mild needle compared to like the more professional ones, yeah. So I would still definitely go back and get it done sporadically when like, um, before I go to London, I'll probably have another treatment done. But on myself, like doing it once a week or twice a week is, it really helps uh, the, the skin uh, products penetrate better, deeper. And the machine was not that bad. Yeah. No. It's an actual machine and not just a handheld roller. Yes, it's a machine. Oh wow! Just show me. It's a machine and it has the little um, disposable things, and you put them on, and then stab yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. The things we do. I know. Let's turn on our mini toy nail drill. There we go. I got my flame shape bit. So what's going to be our next movie? When does Smile 2 come out? I don't know. I just barely saw the poster when we went. So oh, that's right. I remember, I don't really, I stream everything, so I don't see previews. I didn't even know about the substance. The until, substance. Until you said Is it streaming on your, on your Fire Stick? No. no? Mm. Mm -hmm. well, have a wonderful evening. I'm off the bed. Nails are beautiful. Where are you going? Yeah. Don't go, girl. Kelly 3180. We're just getting started, Barbie. 678. Christy. 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 Christy's what? That's the name of the black Barbie. Oh, yeah. But I didn't hear us talk. Go back to the black Barbie. Are you going to dress up for Halloween? I did. I went the other day to the store when I was looking for... I was looking stuff and I saw a little schoolgirl skirt uh -huh. and I was thinking maybe like a Harajuku Barbie again like put the schoolgirl and then put my hair in big old like face bones and uh -huh. then put a bunch of shit in in my like sparkly. like chopsticks yeah. and things like that flowers and the uh, like gems, lots of blush gems hanging down mm -hmm. and my some stockings and my big boots mm -hmm. Doc Martens? Yeah. Well, I got like a, uh, yeah, they look like Doc Martens and they're like white, so I could get a little white top. So just something just very cutesy. like cutesy. Cutesy. You know I'm cutesy. And fun and simple. Uh-huh. Ooh, and then we can do your nails like a whole bunch of like one plaid Yeah. One bling fun. bling. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a blue plaid skirt that I got. And, oh, there's four. It's love, angel, music, and baby. No idea what that means. Love angel music, baby. Hurry up and come and see. She had four Harajuku girls, Gwen Stefani. Oh, yeah. So it's you, Asia, uh -huh. Anna, uh -huh. and. Oh, that would be cute for. Somebody else. Asia said she wasn't going to dress. She's got to work on uh, Halloween all night. Halloween? This year's on a Thursday, I believe. Yeah, it is. I have to get up at 3 a.m. I'm in North Carolina. Do you have daylight savings time? I want to see the new Beetlejuice. I watch. I watch the TikTok live. Kelly said, "I'm a I'm a truck driver." Oh, so she's got an early morning. Did you change the time for live snacks? No. Usually we live stream about three every day, but um, today we were running a little bit behind, and then to like mess with the algorithm, we uh, went live on TikTok first instead of Instagram, just to mix it up a little bit. Just to keep the algorithm on its toes. Because then sometimes we don't get that many viewers, which sucks, because it is a gig to go live every day. But I love you guys so much, you know, it's it's what I love. And then we're, we're gonna have like a little pause in October, two pauses, one in October and one in November, because I'm going to London twice, which I'm really excited for. Twice? Yeah, I'm going October 11th through the 17th. Okay. Well, I fled back on the 17th. Okay. And then November, 14 through the 20 something. Oh, wow. I haven't booked that one yet because I'm indecisive whether to go to uh, Euro Disney again uh -huh. or to go to the Netherlands. Because in the Netherlands there's a theme park called the Efteling, which is the theme park that Walt Disney himself went to to get inspired to build Disneyland. So we love you. Uh, we love you. I love you more. Hi. I love you. It's sure it's a big job. 
appreciate you. Oh, thank you. And don't forget right now to show you guys love. We have 35% off your entire purchase with promo code FALL35. Make sure you take advantage of it, my lovely. Because since I'm going to be in London, and London is a big hub, especially Heathrow Airport, you can pretty much fly anywhere in Europe dirt cheap. Really? Mm-hmm. So it's either I go to Euro Disney, or which I've been to twice already, but I still love Euro Disney. Right. It's actually, I think, my favorite Disney park. Oh, really? It's so pretty. Because oh. it's kind of like in the French countryside, and it's hilly. Yeah. And the castle is like on this hill, and there's oh. like these square trees around it, and it's pink, and there's flowers everywhere. Yeah. It's so pretty. Oh. And it's like, you're in France, like, come on. Right? Like, I remember, like, walking up to it, and I'm like, I'm in Mother Truck in France at Disneyland. Like, yeah. it can't yeah. get any better than this. Right? The food was pretty crappy, though, but it didn't matter, because I was in France. <laughs> Who needs to eat? For reals. You got me hooked on you and your life. Oh, I appreciate that. I vote you to be... I vote you go to a place you haven't been yet. Well, that would be the Efteling, but I don't speak any Dutch. I don't, speak in the Dutch? I don't speak in the Dutch. The, no, the Deutsch, that's Deutsch. German. In, in the Netherlands, I, I think it's Netherlands. Oh, really? I think that's how they pronounce it. I've been there once, a long time ago. And the tallest people in the world are there. Oh, really? You like tall guys, don't you? Yeah, I do like tall guys. The average height for like a guy in the Netherlands is like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, oh, really? Everybody's really tall there. Wow. Let's go. She's like, sign me up. Yeah. All these little shorties here. With their Edgar haircuts? Yeah, and I'm like, put on my heels and I'm really towering. You're like, like, bleh. Like, nope. And then I could see the bald spot on the top of their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Nope. Like a, like a, those old monks from back in the day? Yep. The tonsor. Yes. Google Translate will not let you down some of the time. So I have to figure out how to like how to get to the Efteling because I know like Euro Disney is in Paris. So you just fly into Paris and then you got the Eiffel Tower there and you got Champs Elysees and uh, Moulin Rouge and all that crap. But in the Netherlands, I, I don't know really that much mm. or how to get around. Other than that, they got wooden shoes called klumps. Klumps. Yes, that's what they're called. Mm. Oh, and then they have a candy. That's a bad word. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. I've never shown it to you. No. Show me. Let me show you. It's so naughty. Really? Mm-hmm. That's their candy? Yes, they have it during Christmas. <laughs> of all times. Oh my goodness. What in the hell? What are they called? No, you can't say it. I know. But look at the brand that makes it too. <laughs> the hell? And that's like steel? Yeah. They're real. They're like a marshmallow kind of. We're gonna use a uh, black label st sculpted stiletto medium today. That's wild, huh? That is wild. I definitely wasn't thinking that <laughs> when you were thinking that, when you said that. You were thinking something else. Yeah. I was like, thinking of like of a J or something like, <laughs> or a dong or <laughs> not Aunt Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. It is. Mm. They're like um. A marshmallow. Like a marshmallow with with chocolate yeah, on top. Yeah. Only in the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, there is. Then I see the golden spot up there. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hun. Hello, Pink Army. Hi, my lovely. Don't forget, right now, thirty-five percent off using promo code. What is it? Fall 35. Fall 35. Oh, and then if I go into the Netherlands in November, uh -huh. it'll be like around the time that they start taking out those things. So I'll bring, I'll bring back a box. Okay. Can you imagine I get stopped at the airport? They're like, excuse me, sir, yeah. what is this? What is this? Wrap it up in Christmas paper. 
Last time I went to the, the only time I went to the Netherlands and I did bring some back mm -hmm. and um, oh, I was so pissed like mm -hmm. re like like I don't get I don't get mad that easily yeah. but that time like I wanted to cry I was so upset because we had gone to a department store in Amsterdam mm -hmm. and I had bought this really beautiful pink Dutch handmade tea set Mm -hmm. And it was a few hundred dollars. It was so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah. And then I asked the distributor I had at the time to pack it up for me and ship it to me so that way I didn't have to carry it with me because after being in the Netherlands, I was going to go to Sweden and then I was going to go to France. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to Sweden to work and then go to France to go to Disneyland. She was like, sure. So she packed it up. Girl didn't wrap it. Literally, she threw everything in a box with like paper, like like tissue paper and threw in china like fine china no so when i got back exactly. my box was waiting for me and i picked it up and you could hear all the i wanted to die uh, did you send it back how to who to myself and she's like i wrapped it up really well and i was like oh my i sent her a picture of it and she's like oh my god that's terrible when you come back we'll buy you another one I never went back. Yeah. We're taking nail tip prep and chemically etching the inside of the nail. And I was devastated because it was so beautiful. Oh, man. And then um, I'm a big believer in feng shui, so I threw it away. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they say not to blow that shit back to My mom would have been like, oh, save it. It's still good. I was yeah. like, no, no, no. I don't. But we all know about my mom and her, yeah. her tendencies. And it was so pretty. I remember it had like a rabbit with like strawberries on it and it was pink and mm. <sighs> <laughs> the trauma. <laughs> For real. And that was like almost ten years ago. Oh, wow. It was like eight years ago. Oh. Um, what did you put on the tip? Nail tip prep. So it chemically etches the inside of the nail. And it makes the nail stick like crazy. Let's get your flashlight ready. Okay. We're uh -oh. gonna take okay, it's right here. our press on gel in clear. Uh, so it was a reason for me to go back to the and I have not gone back to the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Okay, hit me. And then the food is was uh, very greasy. Was it? Ugh. I, I kind of like greasy food sometimes. Sometimes, but not all the time. Not all the time. But this was like ugh. Like, it gave me diarrhea, it was so greasy. Oh, yeah, that sucks. It was like deep fried, like, <laughs> like, uh, wieners with like lots of deep fried potatoes and mayonnaise on everything. Yeah, Dutch mayonnaise is really good, though. Really? Mm hmm. Kendra hates mayonnaise. We were just talking about that this morning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and curry sauce is a big thing in Europe. Oh, really? I mm -hmm. like curry sauce. It's like kind of Swedish. Yeah. Like, not Swedish, but like sweet. Sweets. Yeah, mm -hmm. sweet taste. We were just talking about because I was like, oh, let's make Hit a me. cucumber salad. And, oh, because they're trending now. Yeah, and I was like, oh, the one with the mayonnaise and the everything bagel stuff. Mm -hmm. We were talking about your you and your MSG because that guy does the MSG oh, stuff yeah. on it. It's hard to find it at the supermarket, but yeah. I ordered some. Yeah. But the best way to do you want to try it? I have it here. I tried it. Remember last time I oh, was here? It tastes kind of savory, huh? Yeah. Like almost like a like a bouillon kind of yeah, flavor. Yeah, exactly. It, and it looks like crystals. Yeah. It's just all, isn't MSG bad? You were not supposed to eat that. I was like, we don't have to put the MSG on it. But it does sure. give it a good flavor though. Yeah. That's why when we like, you make Chinese food at home, it doesn't taste the same as it does in a, in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's because it's missing the, the substance. The substance, ready? Mm-hmm. Man, I still remember, man, I was pissed <laughs> about my Dutch pottery. <laughs> and then um, my distributor, she was really pretty. Mm -hmm. And she was like, for a Dutch girl, she was on the thicker side, so she has some big old legs and a big old butt. Because yeah. usually in the Netherlands, girls tend to be like more on the slimmer side. Uh -huh. So I remember we were leaving H&M, and these Arab guys were there. And they were like catcalling her, and she was like, oh, she was really nice too. She was like, oh, I have a boyfriend, um, but you know, whatever. Like, she was really nice about it yeah. too. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend or whatever. Yeah. And the guy's like, F you and whatever. And I was like, geez, calm down, dude. Gosh. She was really nice to you. For real? What the fuck are you doing catcalling people? Like, come on now. Be respectful. Like, a different culture. Yeah. And she lived with her boyfriend. Really? 
Yes, I remember that. I remember she gave me a tour of her little house. I'm like, I just hate when people can't call or just be all like that. And that. I just look at them and I'm like, really? Grow up. Yeah. They do that to Asia. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. one more time. And I'm like, Asia, anybody that does that, don't even give Pigs. them the time. Yeah, don't give them the time. Unless they're really day. good looking or rich. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll be like, oh. And yeah. usually really good looking or rich won't do that no. either. You know what I mean? They'll slide into your DMs. Yeah. And then I remember we went to a, a chocolate store in the red light district. Oh shit, I haven't been reading. And you could do lines of cocoa. Oh my goodness, what's it going on? Can you use that on any full cover nail or just that that? I don't test other brands and I don't work with other brands, so I can't answer that question properly. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can say give it a try. Oh, okay, yeah. let's bake it. Yep. Somebody had your back and said that exactly. Is it on? Yes. Sorry. They said they will not does not closer to the nail love sorry that's I was okay eating trying to multitask bear with us one second yeah because i was behind and then everyone's gonna come for us in the comments yeah because i was i was busy talking to you and i hate when people say you're ignoring my comment i know no we're not ignoring it we just can't see it because we're busy yeah. but take it easy girl take, take a xanax easy. you'll be fine we'll be here tomorrow god willing Okay, there we go. Amen. Okay, so I use a nail file to etch it. Yeah, you most definitely can. And we have videos doing that too. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of liquid gummy on the inside. My client got a heat spike when I use the gel. Heat spikes are very common and easy to solve. And normal. There's nothing to be scared of with heat spikes. It's nothing to be alarmed. It's nothing to, that's out of, it's nothing bad or anything like that. It just means the gel is drying. It's polymerizing. Okay, yeah. let's bake that. And some people are sensitive because I can mm -hmm. definitely feel it heat up, but it doesn't feel all crazy. And it goes away in a, in a yeah. second too. Exactly, you just feel it heating up. Yes, use a low heat setting in your lamp or flash cure. Take out nail out of the out of the lamp and then go back to after it cools. Yeah. So when you when you say like uh, when you feel it tingle, you know it's working. That's right. <laughs> it's making it worth your while. Mm -hmm. I have to show you a picture of the mascot from the Efteling. Not e filing, it's Efteling. Uh, that was gummy gel. You applied under the tips. Liquid gummy. So it's a liquid no wipe gel that uh, dries super hard and it seals the inside. Here's the Eiffelene mascot. Are your tips comparable to APRES? Like again, like I said, I don't talk about other brands so I can't answer that question, my love. Yeah. But I will tell you they don't like me. Secret Devil said, Max tips are the best. Period. I have a deep sea curve and Max's sculpted na nails are superb. Period. Period. Oh, here's the mascot. He's ugly. Let me see. It's kind of weird looking. Oh, yeah. It's kinda, if I was a kid, I would be scared yeah, of that. it is kind of scary. But some of the best rides in the world are actually... Really? Mm-hmm. And then when they were when they decided to build Euro Disney in France, mm -hmm. they actually reached out to De Efteling mm -hmm. to like have um, consulting on how to build a theme park for the European market. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> so now I'm taking my fantastic file and just gently tapering in the sides to make sure everything is nice and right and tight and snatched. What's for dinner tonight? Uh, I don't know. I went grocery shopping last night, so I have a lot at home. Do you? Yeah, I had a uh, BLT salad for lunch today. Oh, you, we could go to Anchor Crab. I have my student, she's, uh, she's 
quitting. So she said, come in and um, this is her last week. And I told her that I, I asked her what time she works till and she works till nine. Oh, wow. Let's go to Angry Crab after we're done. She's quitting? Why? Um, she's going to work at the El Conquistador. Oh, what kind of food is Angry Crab? Is it good? Well, I don't like... The last time I ate it, I was like, I kind of got itchy because I had crab and uh, crab and sea, uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. So the, I told her the next time I had, I just had chicken wings. Really? Chicken wings and hush puppies. You don't like like jambalaya or anything like that or gumbo? Yeah, I don't know if I even have that there though. She says she gets 50% off her, Ooh, well. the fried stuff. So. <laughs> One of everything, please. Yeah. Let's go in now with the gel bit to begin to blend in the cuticle area. Okay, now we can keep up with the comments. What are they saying? Um, they're sticking up for you, and then they said for adhesive. Did you use tacky? Taffy. Taffy. No, today I used press on gel, which is my OG of OGs, which is the gel that we first originally launched to apply the one, two, three, go nails, and it's actually the base of the raw materials for all of the other gels that we manufacture. To apply full cover nails. And then Deep Glamorous now said, Yes, whenever you're curing build gel or the thicker the viscosity gel, use low heat mode to avoid heat spikes. That's my homegirl out in the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago in the house. That's where we need to go visit. Yeah. We can stay with Be Glamorous. She lives in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Let's go. Oh, and I remember she was telling me the name of a famous street out there. What is it called? Because in Jamaica, it's called Electric Avenue. That's where the party's at. Electric Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. And in Trinidad and Tobago, I can't remember what... Yes, sorry. You got a little bit too carried away with the song. Got excited. I want to go to Jamaica. Really? Yeah, I told Asia, let's... Now, we got our passports. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. We have no stamps in that, baby, but we're ready. Go to Ocho Rios or Kingston. There was one of the housewives from Atlanta and she said that the KFC in Jamaica is iconic. Right. Like it's so good. Like she comes back with buckets of chicken. That's how good it is. Right. I would just have a hard time understanding people because the accent can be quite uh, tricky sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, can you speak slowly, please? Mm -hmm. Do you come with subtitles? Do you come with subtitles? Or Aruba, I heard, is really beautiful. Yeah, I heard Aruba, too. But, do you know who the Pet Shop Boys are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really? Yeah, I remember them from back oh, in the day. Yeah. yeah. So they were in, I can't remember what island, for a while, and they were, they, I remember reading that they were so bored. They were, like, in one of those places. Yeah. Because they said the only thing to do is, like, people go there to get married and not do anything. Oh, really? Have coitus. Yeah. Because they're all, like, destination wedding places, so, like, there's yeah. really nothing to do. Yeah. So they recorded an album while they were there because they didn't have anything else to do. The Glamour said in Trinidad is Arabida Avenue. That's where we need to go. That's where we need to be. Let's go. That's where we're going to rock down to Arapida Avenue. What month is the best to go down there? Because I know that... Hurricanes. Hurricanes. You can't get me hurricane season. I, ain't I think now is really nice. Yeah. Like October, November, December must be beautiful. Maybe yeah. January. Okay. Not too many weddings. Because yeah. living here, one thing about living in Arizona, you guys, and I don't know about you, is that our wedding season is not June. Yeah. Like we're. It's right now. It's barely starting yeah, to pick up wedding start. season. I, I have a baby. I have a bridal shower to go to on Sunday, and then the wedding is November third, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wedding season or birthday? Ah, no, no, estamos hablando de wedding season. Ah, es que en Hermosillo también nos acostumbran las bodas en el verano como en otras partes, verdad? When is Carnival? Uh, be glamorous. Yes, we're we're going. Let's go to Carnival. I better go get me some lipo first. Yeah. I know, I need that, my mommy makeover. 
Is it possible for the next slide before you start give procedure on what you use Brimley first so we don't ask the same questions? You can rewatch one of our live streams, my love. You can rewatch them here on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, and we start every single prep pretty much exactly the same way. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you can watch over 800 videos completely free of charge at any time at your convenience. Big Mama said in it, which is February, March, that is party season here. So it must be packed and expensive. Yeah, and expensive. Stop at Max. Oh, stop, stop it, Max. You're a skinny queen. No. <laughs> and it would be king, my love. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I have a penis. <laughs> I'm not a twink yet. No. I'm on my way. Oh. I'm only on my first week of Manjaro this week, so I changed diet medications. Oh, you did? Yes. Why is that? Um, I wasn't gaining weight, but I wasn't losing any on semaglutide, which is the generic form of Ozempic. Uh -huh. So I told the doctor, and we changed from Ozempic to Manjaro. Well, okay. some uh, trisepitol, which is the generic form of it. Okay. And I got two vials. It's a little bit more expensive, but I I needed like a little a little pick me up. Kendra's on, that, and I was like, I noticed she looks skinnier. Really? Yeah. But she doesn't have it in her face. Like, you don't have weight in your face. Yeah. She has it in her... Yeah, in her ass. In her thighs. Yeah, me too. Big old booties. Huge. Iconic. Mm -hmm. That's why we're an OnlyFans. Sign up now. <laughs> And she was worried about it, but I was like, well, I mean, at this height in your life, it's like, it shouldn't be like such a big, yeah. big deal. Yeah. And also like the older you get, the more having over, being overweight, the more um, health issues you have and things like that yeah. too. So it's not so much for vanity purposes, but it's more for... Yes. Except us, we do it because we're we're vain and well, shallow. Well, that's why I got the got the sleeve because I was like, you know, being forty years old and being three hundred pounds, well, I was like two eighty, but I'm like, I had to get, you know, I've been big my whole life. Mm-hmm. My cuticles aren't that cute. Any suggestions? Her cuticles are not that cute. No. So you need a plethora of products. You need Bulgarian rose cuticle remover. You need cotton candy cuticle oil. The cuticle pusher, um, and BBC, the Bye Bye Cuticle Cream, all of and the Maxi Hand Lotion. All three of those products in conjunction will get you right, girl. Get you right, get you tight. Your mom never was like, oh, you should lose weight or anything like that? Really? No. Not that I remember. Really? We've all had, you know what I mean? We were all not skinny. I no? Mean, I was just the heaviest. Was Kendra never really small? No. 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 What about your brother? No. My He's brother, a big guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. He struggles with his weight too. Really? Yeah. Well, family discount. Yeah. We're all... All get on the juice. Yeah, that's what I was On the saying, substance. Telling Asia, I was like, you gotta be careful. You can't be eating at, you know, two o'clock in the morning. Uh, because after a certain time, yeah, it, like, after a certain age, it's gonna come back and bite you in the butt. Yeah, because I was never skinny. Like, I was always, never, even in school, I can remember never dressing all girly because I needed to wear bigger clothes. clothes. Yeah. Luckily, that was cross color and Calvary cheese were in. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. so, so it was cool. Yeah, it was cool to wear baggy clothes, crisscross. You know, what gonna I mean? gonna make you jump, jump. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, what was it? Um, the group that Tiny was in. In Vogue. No. Escape. Escape. Yeah. They were huge clothes. Yeah. Like yeah. you couldn't see any of their shapes. Yeah. And now they wear like spandex, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. That was the style. Mm-hmm. I was like. Aaliyah, when she first came out, she was also super yep. baggy yep. with a bandana and everything. Yep. So how has she been feeling on the juice? She hadn't said anything. No? I didn't even notice. I didn't know. She didn't even tell me she was on it. Mm -hmm. And then I go, "Ooh, you look, she was wearing something. I go, you look skinnier. And she was like, oh, I started 
started Ozempic or whatever, and I was like, you did? You're like, uh, thanks for telling I me. I know, bitch. For reals. You're like, I'm your sister. Mm -hmm. I should know these kinds I of things. Know. Oh my God, don't tell your mom because your mom's going to be like, you should I get know. off it. It's bad for you. No, mom will be like, sign me up. Like mine, she'd be like, shoot me up. Yeah. Just use the same needle, I don't yep. care. A little bit of manicure water with the diamond moon bit. Oh, it'd definitely be a sign me up. Does she have problems pooping? She's always, we, we're a constipated family. Oh, then she needs to like start taking fiber yeah, a lot she now. Does. Yeah, there's, I saw a big old fiber thing in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. She was like, puts it in, it's a powder that she can put in there. Metamucil? Yeah, like. Yes, because that is the biggest side effect is that people cannot poop when they're on it. Yeah. And that's when things go south. It's so funny. Because she already has, because of Parkinson's, she has mm -hmm. a problem with pooping. Mm -hmm. And so the doctor prescribes her like this liquid that she can drink. And mm -hmm. the other day I was like, I was having issues and I was before we went to Vegas. And I was like, I need to really like go before we... I need to clear out the warehouse. Yeah, and I was like, can I drink some of your... <laughs> Magic juice? Yeah, so I drink some... And she go, I go, how fast is it? She goes, uh, pretty, pretty fast. And then, oh my gosh, Max, I was so sick. Really? I was so, I was, I almost didn't think I could go to work. I oh was my like, God. I thought it was coming out my ears. <laughs> you were pale, your mouth was yeah, like white, dry. This shit was crazy. I was like, what in the heck did I just drink? Now we're going in with a little bit of base gel just to add a little bit of volume to the nail and even out the shape. I used to steal my dad's clothes to get that oversized look. Uh, what are you cleaning it with? Pure acetone, my love. No alcohol. Never, ever, ever use alcohol. Always pure acetone. Pure acetone will remove all oils, water, dust, anything. It will literally strip it bare naked. That is wild. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did but the job though. It got, you're yeah. like, woo, your yep. stomach was nice and flat after. Felt 10 pounds lighter. But I was, I was showing my mom older pictures of you. Mm -hmm. There was one where you and Asia are sitting together. You're smaller than her. Yeah. And that wasn't too long ago. Yeah. But you're at the point where you kind of need a little, um, a little help with, uh, I need getting work. back on track. Yeah. Cause that happened to me too. I was, <gasps> my God, I was at the mall. Yeah. And this lady re uh, recognized me. Mm -hmm. And she's like, can I take a picture with you? And I was like, sure, of course. Yeah. I saw the picture. I was like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> you know what it is? Is because Asia's at the bar. So mm -hmm. I'm drinking alcohol. Go ahead and put that and in for me. 30 you, seconds. Do I need to? No. Eating snacks. So I need to, yeah. Like on Monday I made a spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash with a meat sauce. Mm. I had that for lunch yesterday too, leftovers. Mm -hmm. And today I had an ahi salad. Oh! Yeah. But we gotta go to Angry Crab before we. before Gabby doesn't work there. Yes. Is it fancy? No. They're not gonna turn me away like the Ritz Carlton? No. Okay. You guys. My anxiety today has been wild because, so you guys know I'm going to London next month, right? I don't know if you guys have heard the story. Tell me if you want to hear it or not, because I already repeated it on, on TikTok and I don't want to bore you guys with the same Ritz Carlton story. So now we're going to do two very thin coats of Ballerina Gel number no. 9, which is this really beautiful, nudie, creamy pink. Oh my gosh, but I can't believe I actually got... A reservoir. I think that's why I'm going so late yeah. because I saw for the day it, it said 1900 hours 1930 hours I was like I'm American I don't know what the hell that means yeah I'm not military right but that was the only availability they had and I was like I'll take it tell tell yes tell tell everybody wants to hear and then they didn't have a reservation for two so I made it for three but then it, like the week of I'm gonna call and be like can it be for two people instead of three because they didn't have any reservations for two. Oh, really? Everybody says you need to book like three months in advance to oh, have dang. tea time at the Ritz Carlton. So in London, the Ritz Carlton is like iconic. It is one of the most beautiful, super fancy hotels, like super bougie. And it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's like that really like, when you think of like posh English, London, like upper society echelon, it's the Ritz. Let's bake that 30 seconds. So I really want to go have tea time there because it's so iconic. And then, 
Somebody asked ask really quick, 20% alcohol, 70% acetone mix I use, is that not good? Yes, no. What the hell is this? 429. So like I was trying to book the thing and it like it had a countdown and I was like you have 40 seconds to enter your name, phone number, email, credit card, date of birth, all this. So I was like, oh my god. I was on the phone and I was like, can I call you back because I'm gonna have a panic attack. I need to get take care, uh, care of this. But then I was able to book it. And I was like, yes, mission accomplished. And then. But what's gonna happen if you say you only want to eat it for two and then not three? Well, they're not gonna turn me away. Right. And they'll be like, you can't do that. That's discrimination. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say this is against. You have to find somebody else. Yes, to I'm gonna. You. Would you like to join us for tea? For tea, for high tea, and it's at seven thirty. That's late. Yeah. That's a late. Late tea. Yeah, an expensive sandwich and yeah, tea. Yeah. But I guess a lot of people go for like special occasions and things yeah. like that. I'm going just to go. Yeah. But there's a whole bunch, like, I've started um, watching videos on um, on uh, YouTube of people that go to different places to review tea time. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It actually looks like a fun thing to do. And I also heard the story of, like, how tea time started in England. How did tea time start? It was a duchess. Let's fake that. And um, she was hungry in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. She said that she had a sinking feeling in her stomach. Mm -hmm. Because I guess they would have breakfast really early in the U in England, and they would have dinner really late. So mm -hmm. there was like a big old gap between. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "I'm hungry," so she called her friends over and had sandwiches and tea, and that's how it started. Nice. But those are kinds of etiquette, like how to like spin the tea. Like we're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to go up and down to yeah. milk. Mm -hmm. How many sugar cubes would you like in your tea? Right. I did know that. I've seen that. Oh, I'm so excited. Nice. And then uh, cucumber sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And what else do they have out there? And you have to wear a suit. And I have to wear a suit and tie. So there's a big old thing. I screenshot it for this, um, the rules of how do I have to dress because I do not have a suit and tie, believe it or not. And it says, what is the dress code for the Ritz Carlton London? The Ritz London has a dress code in different areas of the hotel as follows. Gentlemen. Mm -hmm are required to wear a jacket and tie. Jeans and sportswear are not permitted for either ladies or gentlemen. Mm -hmm. For afternoon tea or for lunch and the dinner at the Ritz restaurants and terrace and all other areas of the hotel, the Ritz restaurants, breakfast service, ravioli bar, and the long gallery, smart casual attire is required. Please note that shorts, trainers, and sportswear are not permitted in any of the hotel restaurants or bars. Mm -hmm. Trainers or tennis shoes. Yeah. That's crazy. So strict. Yeah. Did we do two coats already or one? I don't, I think it was two. Two, yes. Yeah. So now we're going to go in with Maxi Magic Film Glue. Yeah, because it's lighter almost uh, the first time you did mm -hmm. it. A nice thin coat over the whole nail surface. I'm like, even in Vegas, if they have, like, if they say they have a really strict dress code, they can let you, like. Yeah. Just as long as, like, some things are not okay. I think, like, facial tattoos, they're really strict yeah. about that. It was crazy. We went. Uh, Asia wore this dress and it had like holes down the side, like uh, mm -hmm. kind of like with a string. Mm -hmm. And you know, it was very like a Vegas. She definitely couldn't wear that here. A going out kind of dress. Yeah. And uh, she, more flash. Yeah. And we she wore it out there. And we went to go. There's this like ghetto ass like dive bar right across the street from Horseshoe. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, there's Paris and Horseshoe and then it's like right there by the Cromwell. Mm -hmm. Stage door it's called. That's how they wouldn't let her in. Why? Because they said that they had a dress code and that that was too provocative. Well, I guess if they're drunk and rowdy, they're trying to avoid I fights. Yes, because all Asia, we looked at each other. We're like, what the hell? Really? You're like, dress? do you know what this place looks like, uh, sir? You, we, you would want us to come in this building to like dress provocative. Yeah, and no, Asia was so mad. 
But then we sat, we went back to the hotel and we were out sitting down gambling for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And somebody walked over to her and was just like, are you working? <laughs> and she's like, that's it. I'm never wearing this dress again. She should have said yes. How and much I, money you got, baby? I know, right? And it was weird. He was a young guy. Really? Yeah. Well, it's probably cheaper than having to like wine and dine somebody and yeah, then be like, oh. She's like, that's it. Burning this dress. Never again. Never again. Was it really sexy? It was not even, I mean, it had like a, it was a string side. You Do you have a picture mean? of it? No. You guys didn't post any pictures I of your trip. No, we're not posters, I know. That's what a lot of people said. I'm like, we're I was actually kind of looking forward to them, but then I, re I realized you guys never post well, yeah, anything. Yeah, we're not really posters. Like, Look at that, you guys. Wow. Really not really a poster. No, it's sad because then we can't live by curiously yeah, through you guys. Nope, no pictures of it. Look how cool that looks. This is our rose gold foil. She is no joke. And then we're going to go in with the coat of Queen Hard Gel Top Coats. Um, she's at cheerleading right now, but I'll ask her later. And, and did she throw the dress away? I don't know. I didn't ask her. I didn't ask her if she was ever planning on wearing it again. She was really pissed about it, though. Are you working? How embarrassing, but yeah. also kind of like low-key a compliment, too. Yeah. That means you look hot enough to work. Yeah. The track. I know. When Asia goes, she goes... And I turned around and I looked because they were kind of behind me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? She goes, this motherfucker just asked me if I'm working. And I'm like, what? And then... You could have been like, I'm the pimp. Yeah, and then the security came over. And he's like, is there a problem? And she's like... He was like, no, no, no. And he left. And then... Uh, she got embarrassed. Yeah, the, the guy, the security guy goes, what happened? And she saw... He asked me if I was working. She, he goes, well, it's like... It was like almost four o'clock in the morning oh yeah or maybe he thought he was a cock she was a cocktail waitress too because I, I heard some of the cocktail waitress uh uh uniforms are also quite sexy yeah this was like fluorescent yellow though <laughs> so, <I don't> know. <laughs> you're like she was not a cocktail waitress yeah it was like fluorescent yellowish green like a yellow green neon you know what i mean mm -hmm. it was bright bright and it was not during EDC. Yeah. I want to go during Formula One. That would be really dope. Yeah, they were setting up for it again. Already? Yeah. Wow, I felt like they just took it down already. Yeah, they were... Because um, I was like, what is happening? There was like one place when we were in our Uber, and I was like, what is happening? Like, we w had to go into one lane. Like, it was like taking forever, and he goes, they're setting up for Formula One again. And it's going to be, I think, four years in Vegas or something like that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna go in with our orange wood stick. Just make sure there's nothing stuck to the cuticle. Should I live stream my tea time at the Ritz Carlton? Can you? I don't. It didn't say anything. Yeah. Oops. Whoa, Let's pick no. it. Uh oh. Pick up my little clean horn They might have. Wi-Fi blockers or something. Yeah, Especially because... Especially if there's like a whole bunch of like old posh people, they're yeah, gonna be like, oh... exactly. You're disrupting the, the ambiance, yeah, sir. old money, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. real old money. Yeah. Like who's your dad and what school yeah. you went to and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Who you know. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. So I'm going to add an extra coat of top coat just to make sure these nails last through the apocalypse. So we're going to go in with a nice coat of Wonder Gel and just seal everything and add extra gloss and extra shine to the phalanges. And make sure we get those sides really well so that way there's no peeling because her hands are in water a lot too. They really do, don't they? Yeah. All the colors that it picks up. Mm -hmm. 
oh my gosh I have to tell you about that hairdresser that she got work done mm -hmm. and she thinks she her poop don't stink now and she looks like she looks like a sack of potatoes Ew. do you know who I'm talking about no huh? I'll show you a picture of her right now we're so shady how huh, you guys but that's why you love us yeah because you love the gossip <laughs> she got work done and she don't look good I think she looks like a sack of potatoes oh. and apparently she says she knows me and I was like girl I don't know you really Maybe you know of me. Right. But that's like saying, oh, I'm friends with Kim Kardashian because I know of her. Yeah. But have you seen the substance with Max? Exactly. And with my mom. And with mom. I know I was low key. He's like, oh my gosh, how's mom handling this movie? Oh, she's the one that got me into scary movies. Yeah. I was like, that. the sounds were just like. Oh my I'm glad God. there was no really strong coitus scenes. Yeah. Because yeah. those are always uncomfortable to watch with your parents. Yeah. But this one, they were okay. Yeah, there was not really anything. She just sat on, on top of him, but she mm -hmm. had her clothes on. Yeah, and then when he unzips it, all her organs fall out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the intestines all <laughs> falling on the floor. There is a lot of hoo-ha in the movie, though. Yeah. But it's done well, though. Yeah. It's it, not it, uh, it vulgar. Like, yeah, it was like ass more. Ass and, and hoo-ha. Yes. It was a too much and then Demi Moore's ass is like a triangle. It was like very. I do you think that they made her ass look older? Probably. Because it looks saggier than I would think that. Or she maybe would it's a like, body double too. I don't think she would allow that. Because that's like, a lot of time that they have to shoot her. Yeah. Naked. Yeah. So I think they had a body double and they just paste it together. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't think I would have allowed my. To look so bad. Yeah. And felt okay with that. Especially when you're Demi Moore. Yeah. And you're dating 20 year olds. Exactly. I'm like, yeah, call on the body double. You'll be surprised how many doubles they have for everything. Oh, yeah. Like in the Barbie scene, uh -huh. um, I think she said that the, the feet part wasn't her. Oh, really? Like they didn't want her. They like, oh, let's just get the double to do it. And she's like, no, I'll do it. And they were like, oh, you sure? Really? The Power Rangers are mostly all body doubles. Oh, it's a minute, sorry. Okay. They're all body doubles in the Power Rangers. Oh, really? Yeah. Because mm. they, I, I found out that they filmed the show one team with costume and one team out of costume. Oh, so more of the body doubles are like the fighting part? Yeah, the, the stunt doubles the and things act. like that. Okay. And then when they, they shoot the show in Japan, so like the Power Rangers are not big and muscular. They're like very lean and tall. Mm. And then you see the, like, the actors playing Power Rangers, they're all shaped like the Hulk. Yeah. And I was like, huh, it doesn't really... Fit it? Yes. Mm, that's weird. Go, go, Power Rangers. No, but you were a Gem in the Hologram girl, huh? Yes. You don't remember Gem in the Holograms? No. I feel like we've had this conversation before. Yeah. How do you not remember Gem in the Holograms? Nope. Really? Really. She had pink hair and the magical earrings that you would press? Yeah. Strawberry shortcake? Well, of course, strawberry shortcake. Rainbow bright? Yeah. But no gem. No gem. Really? Yeah, really. Thundercats? Oh! <laughs> Let me show you a picture of Gem in the Holograms okay. right now. What do you guys think? Are they shiny? They look really cool on camera, huh? Yeah, they do. This is our rose gold holographic foil. Remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we wait 10 seconds, let the nail finish the polymerization process, and then we hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Ooh, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Isn't that dope? Okay, let's put both in the frame. Look at that, my lovelies. Beautiful. A little bit more demure. For the fantasy. For the substance. There we go. 
Well, my lovelies, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. They came out so pretty. And don't forget to take advantage of our 35% off sale using promo code FALL35, F-A-L-L-3-5. All together, one word. Enter it at checkout and save 35% off your entire... Per- oh my gosh, it's Sarah Shops a lot. Woo! Ready for the substance. Beautiful. So beautiful, said Miss B. Glamorous. That is a wrap, my lovelies. We'll be back tomorrow with Tia Rocio. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't party too hard and shop till you drop it. Enocatour.com. Love you guys. We'll see you mañana. And thank you for coming out, Miss Kara. We'll see you guys later. Au revoir.